Hey there, language lovers and as candidates, welcome to BRC TV. We have recently started an exciting brand new podcast series. We name it IELTS Speakeasy. So whether you are preparing for your IELTS speaking test or you just like to improve your language ability or your speaking skills, you are in the right place. So let's dive deep into the language journey together. So I have several questions that we're going to discuss today. The questions are, of course, argumentative. For example, is it possible to look good without spending lots of money on clothes? Do you think it is good for people to buy expensive clothes and why? This discussion will help you in many ways. Of course, you can build up your vocabulary, your lexical resources. So the first question is, is it possible to look good without spending lots of money on clothes? What do you think? Well, I do think we can look good without spending lots of money on clothes because it doesn't matter the amount of money we spend. What matters is if we can portray the vibe that we are going for and if we can select the uh, pro appropriate clothes for appropriate occasions. This is what matters other than spending a lot of money because we can get them for cheaper mm. from all, uh, different online pages, from mm. different uh, small retail shops. Mm. And they serve the same purpose. So I don't think spending a lot is required. But don't you think that the fabrics matter a lot? Because if you'd like to buy better fabrics, quality fabrics, of course, you have to spend a lot of money. Well, yeah, the fabrics And, and you see the differences... Um, when you go for buying suits and I see the differences, high difference, you know. Well, so That's evident in exceptions such as purchasing suits and stuff that we rarely make. But uh, when it comes to everyday clothing and the clothing that mostly female uh, people buy for occasions and all, for that the fabric can be uh, purchased for cheaper if we mm -hmm. go to places, if we know places according to that. Then and you have to do a lot of research on that. Yes. And I think uh, uh, speaking from a female perspective, we do a lot of research before we make certain dresses and clothing mm -hmm. items. So I think we can get it for cheaper if we are smart enough. So do you agree that expensive clothes are always better quality than cheap clothes? Um, I would like to agree with that. But what I think is um, the Clothing doesn't matter. What matters mm. is the place where we buy it from. Yeah. For instance, online pages get export quality items and they sell it for a cheaper price. Whereas the fashion houses, the brands in our country, they use the same materials, for instance, same design, same pattern. But just for the label, they charge a lot. And mm -hmm. I consider them to be overpriced. Mm -hmm. And we're getting the same thing for a lot cheaper if we're just buying it from a different place. My next question to you is, can you learn about someone's personality based on clothes they wear? Definitely, we can learn about someone's personality based on the clothes as the first impression we have of a person is based on the clothes, their appearance that mm. uh, matters a lot in terms of clothing. So let's say if we look at a person always wearing dark colors like black, we can assume that they're mm, like a uh, more serious sort of person whereas comparatively if people who wear cheerful clothes such as bright colors vibrant and radiant colors they often have a cheerful aura that makes them more approachable mm -hmm. so i think since the first impression we get from clothing so definitely personality can be reflected based on the clothing items yeah but sometimes i see it's misleading because um, for example if someone has got money he can buy expensive clothes. It doesn't mean that um, he has got that particular personality. What do you think? Well, uh, expensive clothes can be categorized similarly in cheerful manner and dull manner. Mm -hmm. So expensive clothes cannot be always judged. Mm -hmm. Exceptions, of course, are there. So I feel like they can still be categorized mm -hmm. based on the colors, the design, uh, the pattern mm -hmm. and all that. Okay, so a critical question. Why do some people buy brand name clothes? Uh, brand name clothes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what 
I've never really actually thought about it, but now that I think of it, uh, people sometimes like to flaunt their resources. I would say perhaps so. And some people have a knack for brands. Mm-hmm. They grow up thinking that brands provide better quality items for the price they pay. So I think to showcase that people usually uh, buy brand name clothes, and they might also have bad experiences from local people, local retailers. So they always prefer purchasing. Uh, from brand name shops how about you for example like forget about clothes imagine you are in a supermarket and you need to buy um coffee so would you like to go for the starbucks or just a lower priced coffee well i uh, when it comes to coffee i'm very picky I cannot survive without coffee so i have almost tasted all sorts of coffees mm-hmm. and the more than the price the taste matters the aroma matters so every time i'm coffee shopping i check a lot of things and price would be the last mm-hmm. on the list because for me when it comes to coffee it's very important to me so i think for clothes it is it is the same thing for some people for you know for a better look for like uh, for a better feeling they might go for um expensive clothes with yes. a brand name i agree with i you. found one thing um for this um question like seven reasons why people buy brands the first one is brands provide peace of mind i i think that peace of mind would be an overstatement like that's my no, perspective no because you know if you consider comfort if you consider satisfaction if you consider happiness So well, that that varies you, from perspective to perspective. So the bottom line is is a peace of mind. Yes, I understand, but I believe that varies from perspective to perspective as I myself also look for those things and I receive them from non-branded clothing items as well. This is from Peter Getman. Uh he researched that there are seven reasons why people buy brands. The first one is brands provide peace of mind. when you you go for a brand it means the brand creates the trust right yes so because they provide and they deliver consistently a positive experience so that's why you go for a brand am i right mm, yes loyalty would be one <laughs> of the reasons so uh like he found out that uh out of the seven reasons number one is brands provide peace of mind and uh, the second one is brand save decision making time for example if you google it today hd tv and you get 100000 results but if you search for example apple tv or like <coughs> samsung hd tv uh you might end up with only like 150 or maybe 200 at best and then you can sort out very quickly so yes i believe that um brands save this in making time what do you think yes i definitely believe that as well he found out that brands create difference and of course like you said starbucks you can pick easily and quickly and the four number four is brands provide safety for example if you are in a different country or different region or different place you need to go to a restaurant so what would happen i would go for a one that i have already tried and i know is good for example in cooks's bazaar you need to find a hotel then of course you consider the safety okay so again i believe that brands provide safety because that is like trusted okay so i agree with him and i feel like less risk of disappointment if you go for a um, brand <laughs> what do you think yes but uh personally speaking i like to take risks when it comes to buying clothing items i would consider myself a risk taker in that instance okay and uh number 5 as i mentioned 
uh, brands add value brands do add value but it depends it varies mm. from brand to brand and the item to item so yes i partially agree with this okay fine and number 6 is brands express who we are what do you think well i would like to disagree with that mm. because if i want to express myself i would do that with my uniqueness mm. and i can let a brand express me since if a clothing item for instance is popular of any brand it means a lot of people have access to it mm-hmm. and there won't be any uniqueness uh for that so if i want to be expressive i would like to be expressed through my designs my mm-hmm. style my uniqueness so i can't rely on a brand to express mm-hmm. myself well that of course is my perspective and that differs from what people who actually uh use brands for brands give consumers a reason to share well yes if the brand's uh customer service and retention is good enough then i definitely think that it creates a huge customer base where they can share their thoughts and everything so yes it creates sort of a community mm. but as i said that I, i mean i feel like they feel proud of this mm-hmm. because they get the return and the retention as you said and so they would like to because they trust it so they would like to share their experiences to people mhm to the community yes word of mouth influence is very strong here for brands especially yeah but i'm not against uh, the concept of buying from brands but mm-hmm. i'm against the concept of only buying from brands that's what i would say yeah but again like um people like to share so my next question to you is why do people like shopping for clothes online Well, I think it's very convenient for them to shop online as it is always delivered to our doorsteps and we don't have to really go out and I feel like the online market is huge and it has a lot of variation in it and we can get a lot of choices from just sitting at our home and using our mobile phones mm-hmm. and it, it is delivered at a given time at our place so it's very convenient and this is this is very interesting that Five years back, um, I even I couldn't think about that I can buy anything from online, and uh, I was very skeptical about this. Actually, once I purchased from online and I had a good experience, I could uh, rely on it. Honestly, mm. if my first experience was bad, I would say I would be skeptical for the mm. next few purchases. But I, but as it was good, I could rely on it. Mm. even you know in the last week i bought livestock live chickens okay so like at home they were freaked out that what are you going to do in fact like buying livestock online <laughs> yeah i feel like once you are comfortable with online purchasing there's no going back yes <laughs> yes so i have an interesting question for you Do men and women have the same shopping habits when they buy clothes? From personally what I have noticed no they don't because women So what are the differences? Women are very picky mm-hmm. and even if they like something mm-hmm. they would still go to three other shops at least to see if they can get it for a better price or a better quality right but when I've uh, noticed men uh men in my family they would if they like something they would just go for it mm-hmm. without going into so three other shops so what's the reason i feel like uh we have a lot of patience when it comes to shopping as we really like doing it how much do overseas fashion trends influence our culture i would say hugely mm-hmm. overseas fashion influences our culture to a great deal because people in our culture and country they consider uh celebrities as their idols and mm-hmm. icons and bollywood for instance has a lot of influence over our culture so whatever the, the stars wear people in our country quickly try to get it and there has been hype uh, related to dresses that indian artists used to wear and it was a trend it becomes a trend in our country so i would say this uh has a great influence 
My last question to you is, what is the difference between clothes that young people and old people like to wear? There are certain in, uh, differences. For instance, the main one would be when it comes to young people, before purchasing clothes, I feel like they think about fashion, style, what would look good on them, what's trendy. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to old people, mm-hmm. they prefer comfort over anything. They yeah. go for comfortable light clothes. Example, leather pants. They are very trendy mm-hmm. uh, in our uh, country right now. And I don't think old people would go for leather pants because they are certainly uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. But young people, on the other hand, wants to go with the trend and they want to try something unique. So mm-hmm. they would definitely purchase them. So this is a major difference. And yeah. another would be their ability of thinking and differentiating things and the places they visit. Yeah. But again, I saw that um, old people, they used to buy expensive clothes. Because when it comes to comfort, yes, you need to buy expensive clothes. Maybe in not every case, mm-hmm. but in many cases I see that, uh, for example, if you would like to buy a cotton, and sometimes it costs higher than the trendy fashion. What do you think? Well, yes, since, as you uh, said, and I agree, old people want comfort, and if they are used to something, they would go back to uh, that place. As with comfort, they also don't like changes. And trying out different things or different cotton would mean that they are bringing some sort of change. Mm -hmm. And as far as I've noticed, they hate changes Mm -hmm. and they don't really want to get out of their comfort zone. Right. Thank you, Sasavil, for your time. I guess um, our audiences and particularly the IELTS candidates learn a lot from this podcast, particularly uh, this would help them build up the vocabulary sentence structure i mean i see you have used um, you have utilized in your sentences complex structure that would help audiences and IELTS candidates i also have learned from you in fact regarding the fashion regarding the clothes and clothing yes um, of course this um, insights would help us and help our candidates Thank you very much, thank uh, you. my dear friends and audiences. Um, thank you, Salsaville, for joining us. Good luck to you.